Well, we're finally going to get the truck, and uh, it's finally ready after a week almost, and uh, this is what we get. We lose power because they took the whole street out, and then you can't go anywhere because there's an electric truck in front of me with everything open. Did you want to see what the carrier bearing looks like? We've been talking about it for how long? There's your carrier bearing. Oh my gosh, look at that thing, huh? That, and there's the U-joints right there. You look right there. That's where it's broken. Oh, it's broken too, the rubber. Yeah, that's what breaks. That's one of them? Yeah, that's one That's of a them. good one, though, right? Well, it's yeah. probably yeah. got a half a million miles on it. Hey guys, there's one tie rod end right there. You got a tie rod end right there. New. Okay, new. that's okay. Then we got a huge joint right there and a carrier bearing. Hey guys, well, the mechanic was nice enough to uh, let me. It's Thomas Tire over here in uh, the Carolinas. Uh, North Carolina. We're in North Carolina. And uh, Thomas Tires is actually holding the camera for me. That's great. And this thing's doing about 60 right now. And I'll push it up to about 70. That just pulls, doesn't it? Yeah, about 70 miles an hour right there. I was added at 80, no vibration. So they did an excellent job. I'm happy. I'm getting rid of the rusty caps right here. Putting brand new caps on. Brand new centers. Heck with it. I got to do it. I put a brand new cap here. We're going to put all centers metal matching, and I'm going to polish this out later. New caps. You guys know I've been waiting forever for these caps, so they're coming on. Go right here. They're only like $9.50 a piece or something. They're really cheap. Those are brand new. Those look good. Yeah. About time, right? Look at how bad they are. We're taking the crossfires right off. These are all rusted. Put my toe under that. Of course, they're not all polished up, but I'm back at Homestead. They look a lot nicer. They're gonna have to be the grit. The mechanic's hands were on them, but I got all new nuts, the metal ones, so they match the the moon. I'm gonna wax. I'm gonna polish those up. And right here, as you can see, the back's all new too. So if I paint that in, in the middle black, and then that's all new. Hey, you guys can see me. I have my coffee. And then right here. So hey, I'm happy. I got new nuts for that too on the top. They were 55 cents a piece. It was like 50 bucks for everything, 60 bucks for all the nuts, covers, everything. I mean, they were charging me really good prices. I was like, just put them on. And they took their crossfires off, Joe. Oh, no more crossfires so I can get in there and polish it. I'm very happy, happy, happy. Well, there you go, guys. Alignment and test inspection. Alignment, align, pressure, test, and inspect, $25. Alignment, one ton pickup, $79.99. Labor, $140. Truck. Tire it in, tire it in, 60, 60. Much labor, 280. Carrier bearing, 92. U-joint, U-joint, 160. Wow. I wonder if they put one U-joint on here. Lock nut and washer, 15. Nut covers. These are all the center caps covers I had because it looks like crap without them. And uh, here we go. Total is $1,073.78. And for some reason, that's making me broke. But it's okay. I'm safe. This is for safety. The wheel covers, I wanted for half a year. That was only 40 bucks. The rest of it, the big number was safety. So that's all I care about, safety. Boy, am I excited to have my baby back. Man, those wheels are shining. I got the solar working. It's been on solar all day. I've been on, so my buddy here only has 30 amp. It's 50 amp, but it's 30 amp in a way. So I don't want to pull too much power. So I have it on DC. All my DC, DC lighting's been on solar all day long off the truck, all day on solar. And I'm still charging right now. I pulled seven and a half amps or something like that at one time, but my panels are dirty because it was dusty in that area. I gotta clean my panels, but boy, didn't that look nice? I cleaned them all up. Now I'm just gonna polish this later as best I can. I mean, they need to be professionally done, but I'm not spending the money because I spend enough money. So um, that's about it, really. The backs look good, look a little bit better. I just gotta get cleaned up a little bit. Put new caps on. Well, Heather and I decided to get rid of the Nike logo. It's not a Nike logo, it just, it, it comes with the RV, it just looks like a Nike logo and I'm getting rid of it. So I'm gonna have a totally blank slate right here, okay? Beautiful blank slate, so it's gonna look custom hooked up to the toter truck, RV hauler. I don't want the crap, I'm not taking any other stripes off, that's the only thing I'm taking off. Everything else is staying on. All this right here, that's staying on, that's staying on. All that, that's staying on. All the stripes in here, they're all staying on. Everything's staying on. The only thing that's coming off 
I took for all you guys that are new watching our channel there was a Jayco logo up there I took it off and I'm taking the rest of the logo off and I've been plugged into the truck all day long now I know I'm gonna get a million people saying you're doing it wrong Ross because usually when I do something I get a million people saying you're doing it wrong Ross but this is the only way I know how to do it bug and tire remover it's taking it off that was all logo right there see the stickiness and then I'm gonna wax it and I let it sit on there because it's paint underneath that black's all metallic paint so looking good voila 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 vera how do you say it smooth oh i just had two donuts better fruit flies better than crispy 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 cream why am i getting a charge light that's still on and i'm getting no amps coming in but i'm getting a charge light that's still on not an error a charge 13.2 volt that's it guys have a good night i gotta edit this video it's already Eight o'clock. I got about two hours of editing. See ya. Lakers and Cheros, you know you'll find us funny.